A recipe that really stood out for me in Brookdale's new healthy cookbook was the chickpea curry. First of all, I'm from Durban and I think that all of us need to learn how to make a good old curry, but also because I'm a vegetarian. So chickpeas, that's what I eat for my protein. So it made absolute sense to make a curry out of this recipe book. What I also love about this recipe is how many fresh ingredients it uses. There's a huge selection of fresh vegetables and onions and peppers, it's amazing, as well as loads and loads of fresh herbs. We've got coriander, we've got cumin, we've got turmeric, we've got a little, little bit of olive oil. In the entire recipe, there's only about three tablespoons of oil. So that is the only fat that you're going to get. A huge portion of peeled tomatoes, which is full of antioxidants, and then of course our good old chickpeas for our protein. So it's a really simple recipe. Stir frying the onions and the garlic and the herbs and that together, adding the vegetables, adding the stock and letting it simmer for about 30 minutes. It's a really simple recipe to make, which of course we all love with our hectic schedules these days. So all you do is you take a pan and you're going to gently fry the garlic and the onions and the herbs and spices. You're gonna to add to that your tomatoes, your chickpeas and your fresh vegetables. And you're gonna simmer that in the veggie stock for about 20 to 30 minutes until your veggies are a little bit tender. Then you take it out, you serve it with some brown basmati rice or couscous, and you serve this with a little bit of homemade coriander yogurt. And honestly, it's as easy as that. First things first, let's saute the onions and the garlic. Add to your pan your olive oil, wait for that to heat up and then you're going to add all of your spices together with your garlic and your onion. I must say it smells incredible, really rich flavours coming through here, the onion and the garlic, it really smells just like Durban. You need to allow at least 30 to 40 minutes for preparation for this recipe. You chop and chop and chop, you get all the herbs and spices, the oil, the, you have to drain the, the tomatoes, the chickpeas, and it does take time. And it's a lot quicker to actually cook the recipe when everything is perfectly put into its own little separate bowls than trying to get it out of the containers whilst you're working. So make sure that you do budget that time in when making a curry. One good thing is you can make four or five times the amount at once and then you can simply freeze it. So when you've had a really busy day, you come home, you take it out of the freezer, heat it up over a pan, and voila, dinner's served. Mm hmm, that's good. So rice is ready, so it's ready to come off the heat. Next step is to add all your fresh veggies. So we've got baby marrows, beautiful peppers. The recipe called for red peppers, however they had none at the store, so I'm sure that yellow will do. They're still nice and sweet. Then mushrooms, I really don't like mushrooms, but I'm not just cooking for myself today. So they're big enough to be able to take out afterwards if you're not a mushroom fan. But they do give a lot of nice flavour to a dish. So nice to have in and then take out if you don't want. Cubed butternut, little baby carrots, and then baby potatoes cut in half. So there is a lot of nutrients, a lot of fibre, lots of different colours of veggies, which is fantastic. All we're going to do is finish off with some fresh chopped coriander. Well, 30 minutes has come and gone, and I've been eagerly waiting for the veggies to cook through. Mm. So they're all ready. I mean, look at that. It looks absolutely amazing. And the smell coming through my home has been to die for. So now it's time to serve it up. And ideally what you want to do is create some kind of nice rice structure. So all I've done is taken my brown basmati rice, packed it inside this cup measurement, and then turned the plate upside down, turned it over, jiggled it a little bit, and that's what happens. The most important thing to bear in mind when it comes to cooking time is to make sure that your potatoes are cooked through. That all the other ingredients would definitely be cooked in 30 minutes, but your potatoes could still be hard and there's nothing worse than everything being ready and then you've got these hard potatoes because curried potatoes are the best part of a curry. So that looks amazing. Okay, you're circled around the rice cake. A little bit of fresh coriander and then take your yogurt mix. Now inside this yogurt mix I just have a little bit of low-fat plain yogurt, fresh coriander, some ground coriander, some herb salt and some ground black pepper. So very simple. 
And just put a little dollop of that on the side of your plate. The yoga dressing is not compulsory. However, if you feel that this curry is a little bit hot, it will definitely help to cool it down. So, typical Durban curry, vegetarian style, ever so delicious, and I must say, I'm very proud of myself. So you see, if I can do it, so can you.